Hello everyone, welcome back to another session in dentistry and more. Today we have sterilization and disinfection of operative instruments. So sterilization is nothing but uh, destruction of both vegetative form and spores, but disinfection is only the vegetative form. So this session is about uh, sterilization procedure or the step by step procedure how a soiled instrument or a recently used instrument can be reused as a new instrument so what are the steps in between these two it is just like a cycle a soiled or a uh, recently used after a procedure how it can be cleaned uh, sterilized and can again be uh, reused as a fresh sterilized new instrument so it involves uh, pre-soaking, cleaning, corrosion control and lubrication, uh, packaging, sterilization, then sterilization monitoring, drying or cooling, storage, distribution and sharpening. So the first procedure is pre-soaking. So after the procedure, the instrument should be pre-soaked. Uh, that is for uh, preventing drying or also to begin uh, to dissolve or soften the organic debris which is present on the instruments after the procedure it will start killing the microbes so it is basically a detergent or enzymes which is containing a disinfectant such as phenolic compounds or cotton tree ammonium products uh, after that cleaning uh, we can go for manual or ultrasonic the commonly used one is a manual one where we use hand scrubbers or soft brush under water uh, which prevent aerosol formation or splashing. Uh, ultrasonic uh, devices are also present nowadays. Then uh, we can use corrosion control and lubrication. So corrosion control that is a rest inhibitor should be applied on to the non stainless steel instrument and also lubrication of instruments uh, should be done before steam sterilization so water-based lubricants that contain preservatives are commonly used then uh, we uh, go for packaging uh, we can uh, wrap it in a polyfilm bag or uh, the cloth wrapping nylon plastic tubing before sterilization then we keep it uh, for sterilization the acceptable methods are autoclave that is steam pressure then uh, chemical vapor chemiclave dry heat uh, which is known as dry cleave and ethylene oxide then microwave oven and ultraviolet light so autoclave all of us know that is 15 minute uh, 121 degree celsius and 15 lbs pressure uh, the wrapped instruments for 7 minutes and 30 pounds of pressure for 134 degree celsius and advantage is the most rapid and effective method disadvantage item sensitive to temperature cannot be autoclaved carbon steel tend to rest uh, whereas a chemical sterilization is uh, performed in a chemical lab, 131 degrees Celsius, 20 LPS for half an hour. Carbon steel and burrs are said to be sterilized without resting, but it is sensitive to elevated temperature. Only dry instruments should be loaded. Uh, dry heat sterilization, uh, 160 degrees Celsius for 30 minutes. Uh, wrapped instruments, 60 to 90 minutes around. Mm, 30 335 to 345 Fahrenheit so short cycle uh, high temperature dry ovens are there 6 minutes uh, for unwrapped 12 minutes for wrapped temperature 370 to 375 Fahrenheit so the advantage is the carbon steel instrument and burrs do not rest corrode or lose their temporal cutting edge but the problem is it is uh, heat sensitive items will be damaged ethylene oxide uh, sterilization is expensive but best method for complex instruments and delicate materials yeah. disinfection we can use boiling water for 10 minutes then glutaraldehyde 2 to 3 percent sodium hypochlorite 1 to 5 percent then there will be a sterilization monitoring Sterilization indicator will be there on instrument back daily uh, color change process uh, we need to check and the biological spore test also we need to do storage it after that in a sterile wrapped tray setup or in a individual sterile wrapping 
so that was uh, all about uh, the sterilization procedure uh, so we completed uh, this session uh, this is a very simple session but uh, operating instruments will be dealt in uh, this way uh, sometimes it is asked as a short note so i'll come up with a new topic in the industry and more thank you